Hi, Big Old Jack. What are you doing? Indian. Are you scared, little Indian? I'm scared, Tuffy. <laughs> we just got back from the doctor's office for her almost final checkup. It's been raining, as you can see, really hard. What do you call them? Tornado warnings and all that kind of jazz. Well, right this minute is just dripping rain, not pouring down rain in the land of Rancho Max. Remember I told you yesterday, I forgot to put it in the video, the guy with the uh, was coming by late with the knives. Well, he didn't come by, but he did this morning. Look, it says cupcakes. You get knives in all kinds of containers. I don't know how many is in there. The gathering in there. Stand by. Well, you want carnivore? You hungry, carnivore? Oh, you poor baby. Well, it's a, uh, it's three Cafalons and a Hamilton Beach, a big chef's knife. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Like a utility slicer type knife. And a large type pair, I call it. They call it too. Four and a half inch pair. Gaffalon. Now that one's got some dishwasher stains on it. But the other one, that one's got one right there on the blade, you can see. And the rest of them are okay. And then here's a little Hamilton Beach pair. I believe this is the first Hamilton Beach I ever seen. Look how big it is! It's a nice little pair. Okay, Friday. Friday's going to be busy. We've got to sharpen those hedge trimmers for that lady. We've got two sets of restaurant knives to sharpen and carry back. We got to carry back the two shuns that we picked up yesterday afternoon. We dropped off the other shuns this morning. What else we got to do? We got to get change. We got to get the truck halfway loaded for the knife gig tomorrow morning. Mmm. Stand by. Oh, thirsty. Love that dog word. The rain has stopped again momentarily. We're out for delivery. Three restaurants, hedge trimmers, and one chef. Stand by. Well, it's five minutes after seven. No rain, no wind. It's beautiful. I'm headed to the Crocs 19th Street Market, Virginia Beach. These are egg crates. I take them back to the egg lady. And exchange them for eggs. Not that many though. It'll be crowded here today. That street I showed you that they close off sometimes, you know? Well, the next three weeks they can't close it. The city won't let them close it. So it's going to be tight damn going this morning. Getting a spot. That's why I'm leaving the shade early. But I guess we'll make out some kind of way. We'll see. Old timers got me. I got to go back and get something. I hope I don't have to do this but once. <laughs> you just never know. Well, I'm set up, as is most are setting up. I got to walk over to the truck and get something I need out of the truck. I got my table up there. I got two uh, sharpeners here, generator right there, buffer right down there, and an extra one for a spare. The best of it's right over there, getting her stuff ready, and the second best of it's right there roaming around.
being tucked back in here behind this building, I think it's going to help most of us. But like I said, it's really windy on the street. It's sort of windy here, but nothing like it is out here. Yikes. Here is Wendy. We'll have to see how it goes. These are the knives from the restaurants that I do every two weeks. Of the eight or nine restaurants I got, most of them are three weeks. But these people want that done every two weeks. And I can tell you after two weeks, they're still pretty sharp. They're all sliced paper. I just checked every one of them. They're not razor sharp by no means, but they could go another week easy. But I follow instructions. Stand by. Customer number two brings me a cut coat and a nice Victor Knox. Nice Victor Knox. How you doing today? And even the stems at this time of year. That's what I'm looking for, something to eat. Iron Goddess Tea Room. The wind is wrecking havoc on these tents on this side. Cutting plants and things like that, mostly softer stems, though. Well, that's the reason I ask because knives need to be sharp in different ways, you know. Look, there's a T Rex, a live T Rex here. God, you never know what you're going to find here T Rexes. Some Bowser's over there, too. Look at that one there. That a little teeny baby one. Look at that one. Cooking the same thing. This is Polish. Polish. Oh. Polish things. What do you put them on? Bread or? That's the best of it. Best of us pet that dog. Uh oh. I got a lull in the action. I'm sorry. Oh, I can try That boy there is big. <laughs> big dog and a big T-Rex. Two Cuisinarts. Couldn't tell if this thing was on. Bacon and eat bacon and egg biscuit from the coffee shop. That guy right there. They don't fix them here. They fix them at the coffee shop, but the co co coffee shop's just across the street. I like it. Made it look easy. Okay. 
It's a race against time. We've had some sprinkles. Looks terrible everywhere. Hello, Gladys. <laughs> I got the front cut. Now I gotta do the back. If the weather holds. Quiet, big old Jack. You make too much noise. Well, it's Sunday. It's about 50. Some breeze about 12. I got no reports from Nada or the Bay. I got some restaurant knives that I dropped off yesterday and picked up four that she didn't give me the last time. And then on the way home, a guy called me and says, I left your house. I dropped off some stuff. It's an old pair of hedge trimmers, two lawnmower blades. So I'm getting ready to do them. And then go pick up some knives. Got to pick up some shines. And I don't remember what the other lady said. These are old babies here. Barry, I've never even seen anything like it. No name on them anywhere. Okay. I didn't see the loopers. I had a pair of pruners in there too. Fiscar pruners. A lot more blades. Nice. What else did I do? Oh yeah, them hair trimmers. Where are those babies? Oh, that's right. I put them over here. Or some WD-40 on. Okie dokie. I guess we're in the delivery business now. Or well, we'll be in a minute or two. We're headed home. We got a gathering of knives. In one bag. Look at this storm right here. This just popped up. It's beautiful over here. And it's nasty as you've ever seen right here. What are you pointing at? It's black everywhere except right there. I'm making it home before the heavy rain gets, I guess. There's just a light sprinkle here right now. Gas at a while while was 209 here at Rancho Max. That's bright and sunny and it's raining like hell. <laughs> what weird weather. Well, we made it home. I see the handle of one shun. I don't know what. They wrapped up nice. Come out of there, Gladys. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. They feel like hangles. But I see no marks on them. No name. Oh, there's a 
Hoffritz on this one. I guess they all could be Hoffritz. They got the same style handle. Stand by, let me get my uh, glasses and see what these look like. This one looks, I see some little teeny chips. All in all, they're not too bad. Well, that's the only one that's got anything on it. And they all look to be exact same handle-wise. So that's where we're going with Hoffritz. Whole set of them. Five and two shuns. And the little shun is worse off than the big one. I see some stains right there. I ain't sure if they're dishwasher stains or just... They didn't dry them off. They let them air dry or something, you know. But it's not too bad considering some we picked up. But the little one's got a bunch of little teeny chips along the blade. All in all, they're in pretty good shape. Okay. Look at that. Bright sunny. In a matter of 10 minutes. <laughs> Boy, that's some strange damn weather. But you can see it's still blowing. Look at the trees. Been blowing for days. All polished up, sharp. At the end of the day at Rancho Max, except for those two shunts. And they belong to the same lady. <laughs>